Yo, what is going on, fellas? Hope you boys all had a fantastic day. I honestly did not think I would be turning on my camera one more time than I to record a Madden Ultimate Team video, but here we are. Fellas, on your screen right now, you are seeing one of two pre-order players coming with the Madden 25 Deluxe Edition. First up, we got the Honey Badger Ty Rand Matthews. You guys can see his stats right here. 82 speed, 83 excel, 73 tackle, 79 pursuit, 82 man, 81 zone with 74 hit power. Yeah, fellas, let's freaking go. And the other player that you guys get to pick between, so you either get to pick Ty Rand Matthew or DeAndre Hopkins. Fellas, oh my gosh. One, why is my card art blue? But I guess it is because of the whole new rarity system. But still, I don't know how I feel about that. But DeAndre Hopkins, stat-wise, 81 speed, 87 jump, 83 catch, 83 catch in traffic, 86 spec, 80 short, 79 medium with 78 deep route running. Now, initially right off rip, fellas, this came out at 6 o'clock. I'm recording this video at 6.03. So this is literally so fresh in my brain. 83 overall. I love that. If I'm not mistaken, the cards we got last year, the Justin Jefferson and the Sauce Gardner from the AKA crew pre-order bonuses were 85s. I do think this means that overalls are going to start lower. That is really big news when it comes to progression throughout the entirety of the year. And that was one of my personal biggest like, all right, EA, let's get that right this year. Now I'm going to move over to the like EA sites, we can check out where exactly this is coming from. As you guys can see here on the left side, the AKA player item. Do not worry if you guys have already pre-ordered the game, you're going to get these players no matter what. You only get to pick one in my opinion now off rip. I do think Tyran Matthew looks really good, but for me personally, as of today, July 28th, I'm going with D-Hop. Obviously, as we get closer to the release, we'll have a more in-depth video going over, all right, which of these cards am I going to actually pick? For me personally, wide receiver is a depth position, and you know, in this game, you want to take depth position players that are B and D. So yeah, I wanted to quickly compare these two last year's players that came with the pre-order bonus. As you guys can see on your screen right now, here is the Sauce Gardner, and yes, I was correct. They were 85 overalls. This is really big news. Like, if you guys have been staying up to date with a lot of my videos, you guys know that my number one request for Madden 25 is to have the game just feel like it's live throughout the entire year. Obviously, it's it's football. It's going to die out after the Super Bowl, but giving us a slower progression system and not having 95s in January is definitely going to help that. And having the pre-order bonus players being 83 overalls, which is two overalls lower than last year, is definitely hype. Jettis also was another player we got. This Sus Gardner does look really good, but how do I spell J Jettis? Actually fine at this 85 overall card. Here it is for last year. The Jettis, obviously, he was better than the DeAndre Hopkins we're getting. But again, he is two overalls higher, 85 speed versus 81 speed. Also, I really think the card art kind of took a big down, down, like, that's not that good looking. But we'll take it also, that D-Hop, like, peace sign, like, what is that? Regardless, these cards are good. Madden 25 news, I'm here for it. I need this game in my life right freaking now let's freaking go and yeah fellas that is everything we got new with madden 25 ultimate team as always if you guys want the fastest madden 25 news you're in the right place i'll catch you boys later with another banger tomorrow but until then peace